Hi guys, uh, in this video we're going to look at how you can create PDFs from a variety of different document types including text documents, spreadsheets and presentation documents such as PowerPoints. On top of that we're also going to look at how you can convert your image files into PDFs as well. So let's get started. Okay, so first and foremost, what is a PDF and why might you want to use one? So PDF stands for uh, the portable document format. Um, it's essentially a type of file. It was developed by um, Adobe, the people who make um, Photoshop and software like that, uh, back in 93. And essentially the idea of it was to present documents, texts, um, images, in a manner that's independent of application software so that you could take a Word document, uh, a PowerPoint document, a Pages document, put it in a format that anybody can open. So that's why you'll find a lot of documents out and about will be sent via uh, PDF. So firstly, let's look at how we can convert text documents into PDFs. So I have a Word document here uh, it is saved as a Word document and I'm going to save it as a PDF. Um, when it comes to the Office Suite, this is really simple. So I'm going to go to File up here. I'm going to go to Save As. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to hit where it says File Format here. We're going to change Word document to PDF. Okay, and then we're going to hit export. So you can now see I have a PDF document saved over here. So let's go ahead and do that with another piece of text uh, software, which is Pages. So we'll go ahead and open that up. So the process is fairly similar to Word just a few different buttons that we will need to look at. So I have a pages document here, exactly the same setup as we had with Word. And what we're gonna do this time is again, we're gonna go up to file, but instead of going to a save as, because we don't have a save as option, we're gonna to go to export to PDF. And then you can see it says export your document and it's on the PDF section. You can select the image quality. I'm going to keep it at best. We're going to hit next. And that's going to ask us where we want to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in the folder that I have here on the desktop. This PDF, and I'm going to go um, export. So again, you can see over here, I have another PDF document that has popped up. So that's how we can turn our text documents into PDFs. Okay, so next is let's look at some spreadsheet software. So how can you take a spreadsheet and convert that into a PDF? So it works. I have an Excel document open here and this works in the same way as Word. So we're going to go ahead and hit file, save as, and then down here in file format, we're going to select PDF and I'm going to hit save. So I now have a PDF version of my spreadsheet. So this can be useful if you've created a certain spreadsheet, a nice looking table and you want it to uh, look a little bit more professional, like a Word document, then you can convert it to a PDF um, and you'll have a less spreadsheet looking version of uh, all the data that you've put into your spreadsheet document. Okay, so that's Excel. Let's take a quick look at Apple's equivalent numbers. And same process as it was with pages. So file, export to PDF. Go ahead and make sure you're on the PDF, select your quality and then hit next. And then select where you are going to save that document and export. And you can see that I have my PDF document over here. 
Okay, so that is how you can convert your spreadsheets to PDFs. Okay, so we know how to turn our text documents into PDFs. We know how to turn our spreadsheets into PDF documents. How can we change our presentations to PDF documents to help with compatibility when sending them to other people? So I have a PowerPoint open here and we're going to go ahead and hit file save as select our file format as PDF and then hit export and then we can see that I have my PDF version of my PowerPoint here when you have multiple slides on your presentation all you'll simply do is it will split them up as if they were different pages and you'll just scroll between those different pages. So let's go ahead and try that with Keynote. So I'm sure you're familiar now, we've been through this a few times. So with Apple software, we go ahead and hit File, Export to, PDF. Next, select the file that we want to save and then we'll go ahead and hit export and here we have a pdf version of our keynote lastly how can you turn your images so your png or jpeg files into pdf documents as well so i'm doing this using preview on mac so i have gone ahead and double clicked the image i have saved it's opened up in preview and what I can do from here is hit file, export as PDF. And then from there, all I have to do is select the folder I want it to save and then hit save. So what you may have noticed there is that the name defaults to unnamed.png. So it's keeping that PNG uh, file type, but we obviously want it to be PDF. We've gone through the process of saying file export to PDF. So preview knows we want to turn it into a PDF. So it's saying, are you sure you want to keep PNG? Because I thought you wanted to create a PDF. So all we've got to do is hit use.pdf. And you can see now we have a PDF version of our image. And there you have it. That's how you can take all of your most popular um, document types and turn them into a nice, easy, compatible PDF. So I hope that you have found something useful in this video. Thanks.